Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited to be filming my May favorites with you. I cannot believe May is already over. I feel like I just filmed my April favorites and these months are seriously getting away from me. Getting away from me. And this year is just flying by so fast. So I'm in a different location. I hope the sound is okay. I hate the angle, but we're just gonna go with it because I wanna film these favorites. I have some exciting new products that I've been trying and I just have been really liking them. I also, my hair is straight today and I washed it, which is like, I'll go into those favorites later, but it's just not what I'm loving. So if I'm playing with it a lot, I apologize in advance, but when my hair is straight, I just have a tendency to constantly be like fixing it because I just don't like it. But um, anyways, first off, I wanted to go over what I'm wearing on my lips. I always get a ton of questions about my lip products, so I just wanted to go over that first because half the time I film it and then I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I wearing? If it's not completely obvious, then half the time I forget. So first off, I lined my lips with this lip liner from MAC. I also filled my lips in with this lip liner. My nails look so bad, so ugh. I took my gel, my dip gel off, and so they look really bad. So just ignore that. But um, this is the lip liner in Subculture. I will go ahead and do a little swatch for you. This is a really pretty nude. It's like a brown nude. So here's a swatch. And I really like it. I just purchased it, so it's kind of like a favorite, but um, I've only had it for like a week, so that doesn't count, probably. Um, and then, of course, I'm wearing my favorite Tom Ford Nude Vanilla in the shade 10, or not 10, it's 12 Nude Vanilla over top. And I'll swatch that. This is also favorite, which you can obviously tell because there's like nothing left, and it's so sad. So, let's see if the lighting is gonna work with me. So you have the lipstick up top and then the lip liner on the bottom. That's what I'm wearing right now. I have a feeling, this is the first time I've worn these two together. I have a feeling this is gonna be a major, major favorite. So I feel like I have been trying a ton of different products. And so I have like a bunch of new things that I have been trying and loving. None of which are probably like that new on the market, but they're all new to me, so bear with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a few beauty products that I've been loving. The first of which is a foundation that I actually, I wore this my senior year in high school. I actually wore it to prom. I got my makeup done at a Lancome counter and they used this on me and I purchased it then. Um, but I haven't worn it since. So this is the foundation. I will put all the details in the description bar, but um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I am wearing the shade 220 Buff C, I believe. Um, but I really love this. It does a really great job of covering everything. I don't know if this is an oil-free foundation or not, um, but it's like a 24-hour lengthening wearing foundation. So I really love it for the summer. It's not too heavy, but it just really gives a great coverage, which I love. Um, you know the acne deal. So I love a full coverage foundation. I just put a little bit of the foundation on my finger and like dot it around and go in with my beauty blender. I love, love, love that foundation. It's really amazing, and if you're looking for something that's more full coverage but still light wearing, I would definitely check that out. Next up, I believe I mentioned this in last month's favorites, but it has just blown me away. So this Tom Ford Bronzing Primer, love it. I love the packaging. I love everything. You can see this in use in my um, pool slash beach day makeup. Um, it just really does a great job of bronzing up your skin and like perfecting it and your foundation just goes on smooth. Um, just It's just perfect. Loving those. Also from Tom Ford, since we're on that subject, I still am obsessed with this Tom Ford cream and powder color, um, cream and powder eye color. And this is in the shade Paradiso which is 08, and it's just this beautiful rosy shade, and I'm wearing it today. And so I just put a little of the cream color on, and then I put a little bit of the powder over top, and it's just perfect. I also wear this in my pool day makeup tutorial. So if you wanna see a lot of these products in action, then go check out that video. I'll leave a link to it down below, but um, I have been loving them so, so much. I've also been obsessed with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. So you know that for a long time I used the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz and I really, really liked that. I just seem to go through them so, so quick. So this one has kind of a thicker little tip compared to the Brow Wiz. So we'll see how quickly I go through this one. I've only had it a couple of weeks, 
But so far I really like it. I think it gives me, I still go way too bold for the brows probably, but I feel like it gives me a more natural look than the powder, so I really like that for summer. Before I get out of the beauty, I have two hair products. They're both by the same brand, um, and that is from the Dry Bar. You guys, this is a game changer, but I'm gonna talk about this one first because this is the Blonde Ale Brightening Shampoo. I have been using this because you can probably tell I've got a lot more blonde in my hair for the summer, and um, it just, with our water, it just gets brassy so, so fast. So I went ahead and picked up this purple shampoo. I, like I said, I'm a brunette, so I've usually never had to use this. But this helps the brassiness so much, and it also helps give my hair like a better texture. Um, my hair isn't, my hair has more volume, and it's just maybe because it's because it's dry and dehydrated. I don't care because it's working and it gives my hair a good body, um, and it also combats the brassiness. The second is a miracle, <laughs> miracle, miracle product. And this is the Detox Dry Shampoo, shampooing sec, I don't know what that means. Maybe shampooing in a sec, from the dry bar. It comes in this blue teal turquoise bottle. They have a ton of these. And the reason why I never tried the dry bar, dry bar products is because I tried one of their shampoos like years and years ago, it was the brunette one. And I just didn't like it. It was just got all over my hands and I just didn't like it. This one, however, I love. It does amazing things for volume in your hair. Let's see. Okay, do you see this? Like, volume. And I love it so much. I will, it's no problem for me to go multiple days without washing my hair. Um, I just, I love a lot of volume and this helps with that. It also helps with soaking up all the oil. And to be honest with you, these days, I went from being a girl who washed her hair every single day, sometimes twice a day, to literally hating to have to wash my hair because it just gets so flat and lifeless. This is a miracle, miracle worker. If you want to purchase anything from this video or if there's like one takeaway from this month's favorites, it's this. It's, oh, so good, you guys, so good. Okay, so I have one product that is kind of like a transition from beauty to fashion and accessories. And that is my Glambox's makeup bag, this clear plastic makeup bag. This is like the best makeup bag for summer, for travel, for just anything. It fits so much stuff. Okay, can you see like, plus it's clear, you can see everything in it. This I keep in my, beach bag all summer and I also use it for travel. I actually have two, I have a pink one and a black one and I use one of my beach bag and one I use for travel because seriously there is just nothing like this makeup bag. So you can probably see I have a ton of stuff in here. I'm not gonna go into like a whole what's in my bag but there is like multiple bottles of sunscreen, female spray, towel clips, there's even bug spray, and there's like lip balm. I mean, and you can still fit even more. So on average, I could, you probably can fit like four bottles of sunscreen, plus like a ton of other random things. But I love it, it's seriously a must have for summer. That leads me into my first fashion-like item, and that is my beach bag. So this is my beach bag. You can probably not see the whole thing. It's a straw bag with all of these colorful pom-poms. You can get a ton of assortments like this. I'll link some of my favorites down below. I actually got this one. It was a gift from my dad when we went to Charleston, when Jay and I got engaged. I fell in love with it. I had no idea it was as expensive as it was, but um, seriously, I loved it so much. And now I carry it all the time. It fits so much stuff too, it's really deep. I wish I knew the brand or the store we got it from in Charleston to tell you, but I cannot remember. However, there's a ton, you can get a ton on like Nordstrom, Shop up everything. I'll link a couple of my favorite straw beach bag summer things down below. Next up, I talked about these in my last favorites video, I'm pretty sure. But these shorts from Madewell, you guys, I have on another pair today, and then I have on, I've been wearing these like every single day. Nobody makes shorts like Madewell. If you are looking, <laughs> I feel like I'm like lecturing you. But for so long, I had such a hard time finding shorts and wearing shorts. I would never wear shorts simply because I could never wear shorts from a place like Abercrombie or American Eagle or Air. I'm thinking back in the day, like 
when I used to wear shorts, air plastic, even some shorts from Loft are too short for me. But Loft does make a lot of really cute shorts, but I've never been able to fit into their jean shorts. Um, they're like denim cutoff style. So Madewell is great. If you are a girl who like doesn't love her thighs or wants something a little longer, but still has the cutoff look, but you don't want to be wearing like Bermuda style shorts, go check these out. I'll link them down below because they seriously just have, they're just perfect. Lastly, my mom had gotten me these, or she got me like two of these, probably three now, um, because I would never be one to buy a bralette. But these are from Victoria's Secret. I'm sorry if you think this is too much, but they're perfect for summer for wearing like tank tops and shirts that have funny cuttings and stuff like that if you want to have like something with a little lace detailing. They're so comfortable, so cute, and they're just really great. Like I said, if you don't like wearing strapless bras and you want to wear like a cute bralette with your tank top because I'm like, strapless bras make me crazy. Um, I would definitely check these out and I really, I honestly think they're a really great price. Like I said, my mom gave them to me, so I'm not sure the exact price, but I'm pretty sure compared to like something like Free People, Victoria's Secret has a great price. So before we get into my lifestyle favorites, I just wanted to talk about two home favorites. The first is this art piece of artwork from Lyra Press. I think I'm pronouncing that right, hopefully so. And it is just a, Beautiful print of all of seasonal fruits and vegetables for the entire year. I love the way it breaks them down month by month and I have the French English version so I can also learn like a little bit of French and see all of the beautiful vegetables. It's a great way to decorate your kitchen. I featured it in a blog post from May. I'll link that down below on how to style a decorative and functional kitchen. So I really have been loving that. I think it's so pretty. And they have a ton of really great other options that I'll link some of my favorites down below. I really wanna get the matching farmer's market bag. Well, it's not a farmer's market bag, it's a tote bag. But I think it's perfect for the farmer's market because you're able to see all of this in season fruits and vegetables and buy them at your farmer's market. So I love, love, love that and I really have been loving displaying this piece of artwork in my home. And the second home favorite for the month is my Roomba. It is seriously the best thing. Other than the fact that it ran into my ring light that I'm filming with right now and <laughs> shattered my bulb, but it seriously is the best. It cleans my entire house and I don't have to do that, which makes it really great. And it also makes it easier because all I have to do is mop the hardwood floors and it just goes right over everything. It goes over my area rugs, like my runners, my doormats, every single thing and get them all clean, which is great because if we waited for me to like vacuum or sweep, we would, it would, we would, it never would happen. So it's really a good thing. There's Diesel. It's really a good thing that we have a Roomba. So lastly, I have a couple of favorites that I wanted to talk about lifestyle and then I will end because this video is getting ridiculously long, but this month was just a really good month. The first is Pure Bar. I have been obsessed with Bar this month. I really love it. I don't go as much as I should, but it's so nice to get back and I really just love the technique and I feel like I'm getting stronger every single move that I make. Also, this is kind of like from the kitchen. Um, this is these Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. I feel like so cliche talking about these, but um, I finally jumped on the bandwagon. Everybody had gotten them. I've been putting them in my coffee in the morning and it just makes me feel like I'm doing something good for my body. I'm not very good at taking vitamins. And so this is just a really great way that I know I'm gonna have my coffee every day. I can just put a little scoop in my coffee and we're good to go. And I'm helping my hair, my skin, my nails, my joints, my bones, everything like that. So this has definitely been a favorite for the month of May. And lastly, I feel like I've had to cut some of my favorites out because it's getting so long. Okay, so my phone screen is shattered, but one of my biggest favorites for this month, which I hate that it's last, I wish I would have put it first, but lifestyle comes last, but is the Influencer Podcast. So my ring light is like basically ruining it. Oh, there we go. But this is by um, Julie Solomon and I will link a link to the podcast if you are a blogger, a creative, an entrepreneur, or just a woman that is looking to get inspired and just listen to other powerful women. And honestly, you guys, I love listening to podcasts. This is 
my newest favorite Jules is so sweet and she's just so inspiring and I'm like signing up for every email link download that she puts out there so really go check her out especially if you're a blogger or a creative or a youtuber or someone like that she really gives great insights and just really performs great interviews and I just want to interview her and pick her brain so anyways I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that you found it helpful please let me know what your May favorites were down below I can't believe it's already June you guys this year is flying by and I just want the time to slow down so let me know what your favorites were for the month and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys